this will be our takeoff video, and I'll try to explain the takeoff, and I'll also cut this video up to make a few more. But we have our B-Speeds in. We're taking off at 4,700 foot elevation. It's not real warm. It's 17 degrees Celsius. Our B-Speeds are 103 for B1 and VR, 112 for B2, and 128 for FS, which is the flap speed. I'll explain those more. And you'll see in this takeoff, we'll accelerate to that, we'll start our climb rotation and start climbing we'll get the gear up and the flaps up and I'll explain it to you a little more later. Give the runway and I'll talk to you in the takeoff. Okay heading confirms. Power set stabilize airspeed live Now let's get into the details of the takeoff. First thing I'll explain is the theory of a takeoff. This is a jet airplane. Any large turboprop, jet powered airplane is going to be certified this way. Full takeoffs are based on worst case scenario in this airplane. So we have to be able to get up to a speed, V1 in this case, I'll explain more later, lose the engine and stop. Otherwise, accelerate to V1, lose an engine, climb on one engine to 35 feet, or both engines running, climb, take off, and get to 50 feet. That is what we call balanced field length. But when we look at our charts, they give us a number that one of those three takes that much distance. But all those three can be accomplished in that distance. All takeoffs in these jets are that way. They're all based on worst case scenario. If you have a pilot with his weight and salt, he will always think about worst case scenario before he takes the runway. I said he or she, I should say. But the pilot should always think about losing the engine at V1. So we got V1, decision speed. You'll see me take my hands off the throttle. V2 is rotation speed. That's the speed we'll rotate at, or lift the nose off the runway, let the airplane start trying to fly. And this airplane's the same. Both V1 and VR in this airplane are 130 knots for this takeoff. Then we have V2. V2 is single engine rated climb speed. We will only use a speed if we lose an engine, have to climb over an obstacle. That's what V2 will be for. Then we have VFS. When we clear that obstacle on one engine, we'll accelerate to VFS and bring the flaps up. That's flap speed. So those are the speeds we use. So they're all based on worst case scenario. So where do we get these speeds? Normally we use a quick reference handbook. Now I also have the pilot's operating handbook. Same charts. We do keep revisions for these, but in this time we're taking about 4,700 feet, so we'll use the 5,000 foot takeoff numbers. We were at 17 degrees, so I used 20 degrees. We actually were in between these two weights, so I did interpolate slightly. And Burr says you can use the higher ones or you can interpolate. So I used 103, 112, and 128. So as you can see, our V1, VR, 103, remember interpolating. Our V2 is 112, interpolating again, and flap speed, VFS, is 128. So even if we use this number, we use 4,500 foot 04s for takeoff. That's the minimum amount of runway we need for takeoff. So those are the charts. Let's go watch that takeoff again and see if it makes a little more sense. The runway, 
and I'll talk to you in the takeoff. Okay, heading confirms. Power set, stabilize, airspeed's live. V1, you saw me take my hands off the throttle. Now you'll see me get to V2 and positive right, and I'm going to gear up. We actually will get to V2 before the airplane has left the ground. The nose wheel is in the air, but the mains are still just about on the ground. And then you'll hear me calling out VFS, which will pass V flap speed, safety speed. Then when we're about 15 knots over that, I do bring the flaps up. And I'm sure there'll be people that say I did it all wrong, but there's no obstacles here. And I don't want to change aircraft configurations that close to the ground. And my theory is at 10 to 12 degrees pitch up is my single engine best climb speed. It also is a good, the airplane will climb well over a thousand feet a minute. And I don't want to pitch up to 22 degrees with the flaps on to keep the flaps below 180 because I can't exceed 180 with the flaps on at one. So I don't want to go to 22 degrees, have an engine failure and have to come back down. To me, that's a configuration change, just like bringing the flaps up. So once I'm a good 15 knots over VFS, if I don't have an obstacle, I will bring the flaps up. So that's what we do here. V1 and rotate. V2. Pause break. There's VFS. Top's coming up. Go to nav mode, Yachty and Bond. Flaps are up, gears up. So if you notice, now we're climbing, flaps up, gear up, I'm holding about 12, 12 and a half degrees pitch up. And if you notice, we're getting to about 190 knots indicated and we're climbing at 3,400 feet a minute. I don't think there's any reason to bring the nose up any higher, just create a more unstable type flight regime. So there we are, take off, climb, it's all going smooth, obstacles are cleared, and we'll just keep flying out. And I'll show you a couple pieces of the manual to show you stuff, and I hope you enjoy the video. Set pop the part in there. Let's just give you some more dry material here. There's a pilot's armor handbook, aircraft flight manual. You'll see how it says thrust levers to toga. That's takeoff go around. Okay, you want to make, and that's why we monitor the engines to make sure they're stable. Here's your airspeed cross check. Then at V1, continue takeoff or abort. Then here's your rotate, and that talks about your degrees. And that'll be based on if you have flaps one, which we always do, or flaps two. Then gear up once you get a positive rate of climb. And it talks about all the airspeed, minimum altitude for autopilot, speed, check flaps up. If you go to the airplane flight manual, it kind of talks about the same stuff. This is why I, well, I read it. It says, we track flap. In a speed at or below to the maximum flap extended speed. 180 knots is the maximum we can go with the flap sound. Any more than that, we're exceeding airframe limitations. So we either got to pitch your plane up greatly or we have to bring the flaps up. If I'm 15 knots over VFS, I don't consider that a configuration change. There, there's nothing about height above the ground bringing your flaps up. 